into. Hi and welcome to the second of our blogs for Elam Bible Week. We're here with Charlotte Curran and uh, we're just going to chat with Charlotte a wee bit about the children's side of Elam Bible Week this week. Charlotte, can you just tell us a wee bit about maybe a bit of your background because obviously you've been involved in children's work for a wee while. Um, Forever, nearly two decades and it's hard to believe with my youthful face but yes, nearly two decades of children's ministry. Basically I left children's ministry as a kid and went straight back in as a worker and I've been doing it ever since. Worked in lots of different fields with autistic kids and with the council with children and then about five years ago I took up a post with Portadown Elam as their children's worker and I've been working there since then and then just took up a post as the children's director for Elam in the last few months so that's a new thing for me. Good, good. And uh, you've got a title don't you um, for the, the generation, oh, I just spoiled it there, but um, for Generation Next, um, yeah. tell us a wee bit about maybe your vision for Generation Next and yeah. what's going to happen there. Generation Next is the kids department of Elam Ireland. It was originally called Generation Next and then it just hasn't been about for a few years so we're back, we're back kicking and Generation Next really, our heart is to see kids reach their full potential in God. I think that for a long time we've underestimated what God can do with a kid and in a kid and our desire is just to see them saved and understanding everything they have access to in God from that point when they get saved and running the race hard and fast. And I want to see kids that are raised up to change their communities and their schools and their families while they're still kids. I believe God can do that through a kid and I'm really looking forward to seeing that. We also have a heart for children's workers. We want to see children's workers revived, re-energised, resourced, enabled just to be the best children's workers they can be. So that's part of, that's part of our mission too, generation next. I think that one of my memories of you whenever we did Generation Next. Um, the original version? The original version was um, an night you did on worship, and I remember yeah. you teaching on worship, and afterwards just the kids were raising their hands and they were they were just free to worship, and it, yeah. was, it was good for me to see that, and obviously yeah. to see you come forward now as the, the leader of, of the kids' work, it's, it's great. That night was a big learning curve for me because I learned that kids don't do certain things because we just haven't taught them about it yet. We haven't told them about worship so they don't do it until we teach them. And once we teach them, they go for it. That's what kids are like. So yeah, it was a big learning curve. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so what about Elam Bible Week? Tell us a wee bit about the programme, what's going on. Obviously, we're sitting here in the set and, and yeah. it's all fairly set up and we're, yeah, we're pretty ready, we're ready, ready to ready go. Ready to go. It's running in two different halves, so the nighttime meetings is in this, in this set and it's called Shake, Sizzle and Serve. And really what we'll be doing at night times is we'll be learning about the festivals of, uh, of the Bible, the, all the different festivals like Passover, the festival of Tabernacles, and teaching the kids lessons from, for, from God for their lives from those festivals at night. Um, then in the mornings we're doing about the character of God. Um, it's very, very different. There'll be a lot of arts and crafts. We'll be learning about God through things like um, building bombs. Sorry parents, it's totally safe. Building bombs and blowing up 15s. We'll be doing lots of fun things through sports, through dancing, and we'll be learning about God in all of those different fun scenarios. And that's the morning session. So that's what we're hoping for this week. Good, good. And um, uh, you, you talked a lot about your passion for kids. Um, this week alone, what, what, do you, what do you expect to see? What do you want God to do in the new kids this week? I want God to do more than I expect okay. because that's usually what God does. He exceeds our expectations. So this week I want to see God do something I've never seen him do before. So already I've seen kids saved, I've seen them filled with the Holy Spirit, I've seen them energised, I've seen them speaking to other kids about Christ and leading them to God in the, in the playgrounds, I've seen them praying over people who are sick. So I want to see more than that this week. So I don't know where God's going to take us, but I, I believe that he's got something for us. And I'm very excited to see what it is. So come and talk to me at the end of the week and I'll tell you what he's done. Because awesome. He's we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. Good. No, that's exciting stuff. So if you've got a kid that's between the age of four um, to 11, and um, you're maybe here at Eden Bywick, maybe you're thinking about coming, but you're thinking, oh, I've got the kids. Why not um, bring them along to the Generation Next section um, at 11 a.m. Um, in the morning, and then half seven at night. Um, and I know Charlotte and the team would love to, love to help them. Thank you. Love, love, love.